Oh, I'm out of breath. I need to get back into more training. Okay, here we go. Wait, we're rolling now? Hey guys, Skinwalker come at you. And here's my after action report to Operation Mayday 2. I'll give out my full analogy and my complete honesty of what happened on on a specific time and day when Mayday Day 2 happened. So here we go. It sucked. But not for reasons that may seem obvious, but I'll give you out my full details of why it sucked. Number one, it was a shitty day for a bunch of good guys. And what I mean by that is Striker Nelson is by far that has the nicest group of guys who just want to play airsoft. They take precious time and effort out of their daily lives to get airsofters together and have one big huge battle. I mean that's like, that's what every Milsim organization aims for. And they did. They definitely did with that. I count as many as the 200, possibly the 250 people, but I'm not sure about the numbers, but yeah. That looked like a lot of damn people. And again, there's were, these were a bunch of good guys. I mean, they knew what they were doing. They had the opportunities that was given to them to plan everything about Mayday 2. But like, again, this was the shittiest day that could happen to a bunch of good guys. True, I only knew them for a few hours, but hey, I mean, first impressions matter the most, right? And another reason for this had to happen to these bunch of good guys is the fact that we've all been down that road. I mean, you try to organize a game together and try to pull as many players as you can for, for a small amount of time and try to make the best out of everything. But you, you know you're gonna meet speed bumps along the way. That, that, that can be foreseen. But for these guys, again, for Shrek and Milsim, it was just an awful day that happened to them and, on, and the most unfortunate circumstances that lead them to have negative decision making. But again, they tried to make up for it. But the same cannot be said for the airsofters who attended. Man, I felt, I, I was one of them. I felt the frustration. I felt the confusion spinning around throughout the first 12 hours of the game. And nothing seemed like it was going to get done. But again, again, those are, those are forgiven problems because... You try moving 250 players from one point to the other, and we'll see how stressed out you are. Trying to move in a huge amount of players, again, in a small amount of time, and making sure that they get there ASAFP is a real challenge. And again, we've all been down that road. We try to organize a game for at least about 100 or more players and have them fight each other for a small amount of time, but instead, everything that happened, happened during Mayday 2. I'm sorry. That's, that's my complete honesty right there. Especially how Green Team had to move their FOB twice. Uh, now, that was a lot of frustration. I, I have to admit, I'm one of those people who got, whose frustration got the best of them. I didn't want to be there any longer. I felt like I'm going to waste my weekend just by going point A to point B or having no gameplay at all. I mean, that was, that was it too. I literally had no gameplay during the first 12 hours of Mayday 2. I literally never shot my rifle. How disappointing is that? The biggest frustration in my view is the fact that we had to move our FOB multiple times. Well, I don't know about multiple. I lost count because I was tired. It was hot and I was hungry. I didn't have my kit with me, so yeah. Uh, that's Milsim for you. You don't have enough of your stuff when you don't have any, and you don't know where your stuff is at, so. <laughs> uh, we got the sheriff's, the sheriff's department was called on us because somebody within the green team or, yeah, it was the green team who went over someone's property fence and we got in trouble. Yes, we did. We got in trouble. Next one was the fact that we had to move our FOB from which our original FOB was at. And we had to move our FOB to get to a new FOB. If you're following along with me, well, you're not lost because we were all lost at that point. Anyways, the guys whose land our FOB was designated, well, which was standing right on top of it, he was a problem to begin with. He had literally gotten mad at the Milsim cadre and he demanded us to get out or vacate <laughs> as far away as we possibly can. I actually made a joke to one of those guys and I told him, hey guys, how does it feel to get off your res to be forced off your reservation? One of the guys in the background said, hey, it sucks! And I said, yes, yes it does. So from the FOB frustration, our game time was cut, was significantly cut, and that really pissed me off the most. Well, again, anything that could go wrong, did went wrong at, at Mayday 2. Oh, my eyes. 
Oh, am I even ready? No, I'm not ready. Aside from all the bad stuff that did happen in Mayday 2, I will tell you what I liked about Mayday 2. It had a good atmosphere. It had a bunch of good players who came from all over the southwestern area of the United States to attend this big event. Guys as far as from California. I mean California. I'm talking about my struggle from getting from the Four Corners area all the way to Benson, Arizona. While these guys came from flipping California just to attend May Day 2. Kudos to them. Especially from people, the majority of them coming from New Mexico and as well as Arizona itself. That was... Huh, that was epic. Gathering a lot of people for that big event. That was a, that 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 brings tears to my eyes. That brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> Again, the atmosphere was good. These were people. I mean, these were airsoft players who who didn't who didn't pride themselves or weren't too full of themselves. You know, like you know that guy at the at the, um, at, the at the rally point where he's all like, "Oh, I'm going against you guys." <laughs> I'm the one with the best gun here, so you're all dead technically. <laughs> yeah, one of those idiots. But no, we didn't see. I didn't see any one of them. So yeah, had a good atmosphere, a friendly atmosphere. I might as well say this right now. The atmosphere was so friendly that I made more friends at Mayday 2 than I did when I was attending high school. So that's a given. Oh yes, the gameplay itself was intense. And what I mean by intense, well, I'm going to have to tell you guys right now of how I really felt on the first hour of Mayday 2. It was freaking awesome. I mean, in the first hour of when gameplay started, there were bombs bursting in midair. I mean, there was machine gun firing, chattering like there was no freaking tomorrow. I mean, those are blank fire rifles as well, just to let you know, FYI. And I felt like, holy shit, I'm going to die here. Ah, oh, it felt so real to me that I felt like I was going to crap my pants. <laughs> Say what you want about Mayday 2 and all of its hijinxes, but they really made up for it with their gameplay. Like again, I have never felt the intensity of, well, I never felt how intense an airsoft battle can be if you have, if you have that much ordnance and as well as blank firing rifles in the field. Ah oh, man, that made my weekend. That literally made my weekend. Uh, speaking of attending, I am now kicking myself of not attending the high intensity action mission. Yeah, I'm kicking myself because of it, because it was so goddamn epic. Okay, myself, uh, a guy that you may know, myself and two guys, Bear from Air Splat and Justin, his, his buddy Justin, we were chilling right next to his car and I was frustrated. I wanted to get out of there as quick as possible, but I had to wait for two of my teammates, Sparky and as well as Tech. They were the ones who bought their high intensity action mission tickets. And the next thing you know, boom, a whole the bombs are going off right in behind you and you hear the chattering of machine gun fire which are blank firing for your information and it was from the look of it it was awesome it felt like something from black hawk down you never felt that much intensity just by purchasing a ticket for only forty dollars yeah i'm kicking myself for that wish i went and what's the bigger kicker about that high intensity action mission was the fact that the moment when sparky and tech were telling us, you know, we were heading back to New Mexico, and they were telling us about the about the mission. They fought alongside a former Navy SEAL. Yeah, that that sealed the deal. So yeah, I'm pissed at myself for not for not going. So yeah. <laughs> yes, bad things as well as some good things happened throughout the entire game. That's something I can't ignore. If you're going to attend another Mayday Milsom, I suggest you go. I really, really suggest you go because, again, these are the nicest guys that you could ever know in your entire life who are taking enough time and effort out of their busy lives to get enough airsoft players into one specific area and have his duke, his, duke it out in just plain old BB battles. I'd like to see paintballers do that. <laughs> Support them. Support Striker Milsom and what they have accomplished so far. I mean, Having two big events in a row is is impossible. It's next to impossible. So support them because these are the most nicest bunch of guys that you can ever meet in your entire lives and they're taking time and effort out of their busy lives just to gather enough Milsim players into one spe specific area and just have us duke it out with BBs, throwing BBs at each other. I mean, that's all that is. 
I mean, nothing too political or too emotional about it, but that's that's my honest way of telling you this. And I will tell you, and I'm letting you know, and letting you guys know this as well, I, I, I really want to attend another Mayday operation. Because I see his potential in them. I mean, it's not easy trying to gather as much players into a Milsom event. It's impossible. It's near too impossible. But they did it. They did it twice. They're doing all this for all of us. To keep the sport alive. To keep Airsoft alive. And they probably, well, they did rekindle my hope in this sport. Airsoft's not going to die as long as there are people dedicated and committed to the sport. I'd like to thank you all of you guys for listening to my after-action report. And this is Skinwalker. I'll see you out in the field. Signing out.